would be a stretch to say that a Canadian came close to winning this year's RBC Canadian Open at Royal Montreal. This wasn't 2004 at Glen Abbey, when Mike Weir seemingly had one hand on the trophy before falling to Vijay Singh in a playoff. And it wasn't 2011 at Shaughnessy, when BC boy Adam Hadwin led on Sunday before a couple of costly bogeys proved too much to overcome. But that's not to say the 105th plane of our national championship wasn't successful from a Canadian player's standpoint. Start with Graham Dillette. Canada's top-ranked golfer put on a show in the second round, tying the course record of 63 while playing alongside Jim Furyk and Matt Kuchar. That left the Saskatchewan native two shots off the lead, and chatter about a Canadian in the winner's circle intensified. However, Dillette couldn't carry the momentum into Saturday, when an even par 70 left him seven shots back, entering the final round. On that day, he birdied three holes coming home to move up the leaderboard and tie for seventh, much to the pleasure of the home crowd. It was Dillette's 20th PGA Tour top 10, but first at the Canadian Open, and he said afterwards that he found a big difference between contending in Canada and abroad. It was more fun. Uh, I mean, just because so many people were cheering for me, now I know how Phil and Tiger and all those guys feel all the time because it, 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 was, it was pretty neat. And I mean, coming down 18, was, it was a special moment. Dillette just barely edged out Brad Fritch for the tournament's low Canadian. After making the cut on the number with a birdie bomb on the 18th hole Friday, Fritch torched Royal Montreal's back nine with three birdies and an eagle on Sunday. His card was clean on the day, and the 64 moved him up into a tie for ninth, matching his best PGA Tour finish. For Fritsch, raised near Ottawa, it was extra special performing so well in front of family and friends. It was really cool. You know, they, they've always been so supportive of me, especially right at the beginning of my career when I needed the money to start, and uh, they stepped up and, and gave me all the money I needed. So, uh, you know, they keep guys like me going when we struggle early on in our career. So uh, it's great to have the belief, the support of all the people around me. And uh, it's always nice to have friends follow you. Uh, they don't get a chance to do it very often, so it's really special. And while those two PGA Tour members had excellent weeks, it was an amateur golfer who was just as much a part of the Canadian story. Richmond Hill, Ontario native Taylor Pendrith blasted his way into the headlines on day one, carding a five under par 65 to sit just a shot out of the lead. He struggled in the spotlight on Friday with a 75, but hung around for the weekend, shooting 68-69 to tie for 43rd in his first PGA Tour event. I had a lot of fun, concluded Pendrith. It was a great experience just being out here and experiencing what these guys experience every week, so I had a great time. No, the much discussed drought at the Canadian Open didn't end for our boys, and it now sits at 61 years. But what we took away from Royal Montreal is that there are strong signs the streak might not last much longer.